Hello, welcome back to our channel and to what is shaping up to be a very exciting video. However, that being said, you have probably already seen the title of this video. Yep, you've guessed it. It's us sorting out the front locker of our caravan. Now, we took the caravan for a service this week and as I was getting it ready, I realized just how messy we had let it become. We have so much stuff, and actually this video will also walk through just the amount of stuff that we take crammed in our front locker, and I'm really, really interested to learn, do you have the same sort of syndrome as we do? Which is, we, we might need that, we might need this, we'll buy that just in case. Let us know in the comments if you do. I think, however, everything that we have here, we need. So as we put it all back, I'm gonna show you all the sorts of things that we take away with us in the front locker of our caravan. Okay, as you can see, we are starting with a completely empty front locker. Now, we only have one gas bottle, as you can see, so I've removed the empty gas bottle bracket from the wall and the base of the locker, just to give us a bit more usable space. And here is the collection of things that I intend to go back into the locker. Now, this dinky little Stanley toolbox we've had since, ever since we bought the caravan and we've just purchased its big brother just for use as a storage box not really a toolbox but as a storage box and another matching colored storage box there and the idea is we're going to try and separate out the kind of the water things the kind of peggy awningy ground sheety type things um, into different boxes so that we can kind of take things out as we need to use them so let's have a little walk through what we've got here and what we are gonna be putting in. So in this bag here, we have our towing mirrors. We've got a ground sheet, um, the skirt that goes along the side of the caravan to keep the drafts out in the awning. We've got our towing cover. We've got our essential torque wrench, nose weight gauge. We have some ground sheet pegs, bags of other pegs, straps ratchet straps i always find these useful i don't really know why but you never know when you're going to need that kind of thing um got the bag for the tow hitch lock that's actually on the caravan at the moment some jack pads um we've got this fantastic um collapse water filler hose which i'll show you in a minute it's absolutely brilliant got our other water bits here so our wastewater pipe our gray water pipe and our clean water supply pipe for when we're on service pitches, toilet chemicals. We've got our power cable wrapped up in this neat little bag. We've got our Dometic um, Gale air pump for the awning and a few tools in there and some leveling blocks. I never really know why I bought two. I think we only ever need one, but you never know. So all of this is gonna go in here. Now in terms of what goes where, I think that this box I would like to become the hardware box. So pegs, hammer, pump for the awning, that kind of thing. So I think we're going to get this one done first and see if that's a good size match. Okay, I'm thinking this is quite a bulky item, so I think maybe put that one in first. Maybe followed by these pegs. We have a bag of plastic pegs here with the all soap in this bag. We have the limpets that we use to attach the awning to the caravan, which are absolutely fantastic. So they can all go in there. They're the kind of nylon pegs. In this bag, we've got our rock pegs, so they can go in separately. And I think I may also put the mallet in there as well. So let's pop that in there. The hose that goes with the air pump. That's going to go in there. So we've got awning, ground sheet type pegs, both other types of pegs, the mallet, the pump. That's everything that we need for putting up the awning, I think. So I think that's a good, a good fit for that box. Perfect. Now, this little toolbox is just a small selection of tools that I 
going to be useful wire away, so that can just stay as it is. And I don't know about you, but I do love the fact that everything colour matches. That appeals to me. Okay, next up is this big boy. And I think I would like for this to have all of the water-based things. So the hose for filling, the chemicals, all of those kinds of things, all the fittings, I think I would like in this one. I don't know how that's going to go because some of the hoses are quite big, but we'll see. Okay, now I've got this box open and I've compared the box with the hoses and all of the other things that I'd like to put in there. I don't think that's going to work. So... I think we're going to need to think of a plan B for this box. It could be that plan B is all of the other smaller items such as these, the hitch lock, the torque wrench, the nose weight gauge, all of those kinds of things. So maybe let's see if we can do that. And I might need to get some more bags because I love a bag for things like the power cable. I might need to get some more bags for those. Let's see how we get on. Okay. So plan B is absolutely going to be torque wrench, nose weight gauge, stacker pads, they can all go in there and then if we have spare space in here we can absolutely use it for other things. When it's not on the caravan we'll pop the hitch lock in there as well. Um, we still are able to put this useful little tray on top, so that might come in handy. Um, the towing mirrors are too big to go in there, they don't fit. Um, so what we have is a box which has a little bit of free space. In fact, what we will do is pop in my useful take everywhere straps, because you never know when you need straps like this and we'll pop these bungee cords in there as well. This is all kinds of useful stuff. So I think for now, that is all that I'm going to put in that. So I'm going to do that one up. And then it does leave some other things that we need to find a home for. Such as all of this water equipment. Now I'm really interested to know what do you guys do with this stuff? Do you worry about it being in bags or in boxes or do you just leave it loose inside? Um, if you could leave us a comment below, that might help us decide what we do with this. For now, I'm just gonna have to try and be as neat as possible, but I would like to get some kind of carry bag at least um, for these. And in fact, probably two, so that I can keep the wastewater and the freshwater pipes separate. That feels like good water hygiene to me. So let's have a little look at how this all goes back into the front locker as it is for now. Okay, first things first, the big one is gonna go in, but behind that, I'm gonna put a couple of the things that we use less often so that they're out of the way and we don't need to move them to get to the things that we do need to use. So these are going in the back. Do I need two of these? I don't think I do need two of these. We bought two because we were used to having two with a motorhome, but with only one axle, I think we only need one. What do you reckon? Can you help us out? I'm going to take them both though. Right, so they're in there. Now let's pop this big one in next. And that fits nicely. Plenty of space around that as well. So that's in. Next up, I'm also going to use that space behind it for our watering can, which we'll just use for filling up the toilet um, flush system. Next up on this side goes the box with all our pegs and our hardware in it. Now that's actually a snugger fit than I had hoped for. It's probably just a case of what angle you put it in at. But I'm gonna have to watch that. But it's a nice little fit and I think 
this space in front of it is good for the tiny toolbox. It is not. However, it does fit straight in front of the gas bottle. So let's move this up a little bit. Tiny toolbox goes there. Oh, it's nice that it's all colour matched, isn't it? Okay, well I've just had a rummage in the garage and I found this super useful little basket which I, for now, will use for these kind of small water items, the chemicals, the little uh, attachment for the waste, uh, the water filler, etc. Um, so that will help out a lot. So, let's just fill that up with these. Try and be as neat and tidy as possible. There we go. Waist hose and a little flexi attachment as well. Right, so that is a handy little basket. Let's pop that in here. So I think what we'll do, just fold these handles down. We'll try and pop this on top of, not so easy with one hand, pop it on top of there. And I might need to secure that in place with a bungee to stop it um, sliding around. But for now, in terms of organization, that looks like a plan. Now to fill some gaps, so I'm going to put the power cable just there, that fits snug as a bug. And I think maybe for now I'm going to put the water hoses behind here, stack them up behind here and then get online and get a bag for them. Fresh water. We only started to stay at service pitches this year and I've got to say, we've never looked back, it's fantastic. Um, but this hose is an absolute must, as I'm sure you know if you've stayed on service pitches, but if you haven't, get yourself one of these. So that's in there. Right, next up, the grey waste hose. Now we have seem to have quite a lot of this. We have a, a long length and a shorter length. But we've been on a couple of pitches where the actual point for disposing of the great waste, so running it from your van to the uh, drain on your pitch, has been quite a way away. So we have two lengths so that we can join them together if needed, um, or a short one, or just one uh, kind of longer one if that will do the job. But it looks like a lot of great pipe, so we're going to try and cram this in now. next places we're staying this weekend coming are both I believe serviced. The first one certainly is. And that is Old Oaks Touring Park near Glastonbury. We're super excited about that. That looks snug. Next I'm just going to use the towing cover and the ground sheet just to kind of fill some gaps so that everything doesn't move around. looking good. Okay, the awning skirt can go just down here and then one last thing, the towing mirrors, of course, when they're not in use. And there you have it, a nicely, neatly packed front locker with all of the things we could possibly need on our travels. Well, there you have it, a super riveting video of me cleaning out the front locker of our caravan. In all seriousness though, I'm really interested to know, do you think we take too much stuff away with us? Have we got too many things or is it just about right? Also, what's that one thing that you would not go away without? that must have accessory. I've been thinking about making an accessories video to kind of share the journey we've been on over the last 18 months as new caravanners, 
the things that we've bought, the things that are still in a packet because we thought we would use them and we haven't. There are a couple of things like that. Um, so if you think that would be an interesting video to watch, leave it in the comments below and um, tell us what you think. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Sarah will be back with me on the next one and we will see you next week at Old Oaks Touring Park in Glastonbury. Take care. Bye.